All right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when we talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Over and over, he's landed in big body kick. Able to check the high kick. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, here, final seconds of round one. One out for the end of round one. advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. This beautiful body can land right under the elbow. And he that comes D, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Just misses with the right hook. Nice try. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whipping like this, only exhaustion. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. There, huge block for him. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice. Nice. Whoa. 
Watch the shot. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Nice punch there. Ooh. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. Home and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Watch knees to the body. Punches blocked. He loaded up there on that high kick. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Look at him dig that. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that gym. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Good stick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's to his opponent. When it's time, it's in there deep. There you go. Focus 
of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishes fights. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us on to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out.